Hi, welcome to Pennington Quilt Works Saturday Sampler. I'm Linny and I'm going to be doing the demonstration today in a different format than our usual in in our usual classroom. Thank you so much for your continued support. We do have a website where you can shop online. We also have curbside pickup for your convenience and safety, or you could choose to mail order. Any questions or problems with anything, please don't hesitate to give us a call. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, today I'm gonna to be demonstrating block eight, which happens to be called Black Beauty. And the block that I'm demonstrating today is the K facet version. Now you will be receiving directions and a guided sheet with your particular colorway on it to follow. But this is the one that I'm gonna be demonstrating today and showing you. It is a block which is made up of many, many common elements that we've already done. For example, you notice that we, in the corners we have four patches. Very common, simple kind of piece that we've done many times. In the center, we have this star block, which is made up of a center square and four flying geese. All the same process that we have done many, many times in months past. So you're gonna follow Michelle's directions on these to a T, and I find that they are very clear, they're very concise, that her diagrams are outstanding as well. One new element that we learned last month is called picket quickets, uh, uh, tongue tie, tongue tie here. And that's what these are in the center of these blocks. These are the picket quickets. What I wanna do is to show you how to actually make those in addition to you following along on your instruction sheet. So the very first thing is you're gonna take one of your background squares and you're gonna take a medium square. You're gonna draw a line down the center of it, of the medium square, and you're gonna sew a quarter of an inch on each side. You'll then take this square and cut it in half diagonally through the entire background block as well. You'll then take that one of these and you are gonna press the little tiny square, um, you're gonna press the seam toward the tiny square. And then using your wing clipper, you will be cutting this into a two by three and a half inch rectangle. All right, I'm gonna show you a close up right now of how to go about cutting the pickets quicket. And if you refer to your instructions, page two, step five, that's where I am right now. And I'm gonna, I've used this diagonal line on our wing clipper ruler. I'm gonna cut the right side and across the top. Then I'm gonna flip it 180 degrees and align. Again, I'm gonna be using the X on here on the diagonal line and the measurements given in the directions and slice up that side and around the top. That's one half of them. Next, we're gonna move on to page three, step seven, for the other half of our piece to get the opposite corner. And I'm going to align my ruler once again using the diagonal line on my ruler and I'm gonna slice up this side and across the top once again. I'm gonna give it a 180 degrees flip. And again, I'm gonna align using the measurements on your pattern and slice the right side and across the top. At this point, please pay close attention to Michelle's directions because it's very important that you get the mirror image. So this block, this half of the block is gonna be one side and the other half is gonna be the other side. You definitely want to create the mirror image 
items. So pay, pay particular attention to that. Um, then this is gonna be put together row by row as we have done many, many times before. Any questions or problems, don't hesitate to either email or telephone the shop. We'll be happy to speak to you and clarify anything that you're confused over. Thanks so much and hope you're having a wonderful time. Keep on sewing, everybody.